All right, now for the last part of the lip sync tutorial for Dr. Cure. Okay, so now we're gonna do this part of the audio. It is a pleasure to meet you. Okay, so one of the things that I'm gonna do in this, just so it's easier for me, just to make sure I got everything going with my bones and everything and just kind of say consistent for myself is I'm gonna do one bone at a time because for some reason I'm getting really screwed up with my lip syncing right now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is my uh, open mouth. Um, go ahead and create a keyframe here. Uh, just drag that back a little bit. And I'll open his mouth to there. Because all I wanna do is the tongue. So right here he's saying it is. So I'm going to go to this layer right here. So I'm just going to bring that tongue bone back. So he's saying it is. Okay, and now he's going into the p the PL of the p of the pleasure. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a keyframe right here, put the tongue up. And right here he's doing a T, so I'm going to put a keyframe there, put a tongue up, go back down. Right here it's meet you together, which sounds like meet you as you can hear, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the tongue and put the tongue back up. Okay, now with that, it should look like this, which will look really weird. It is a pleasure to meet you. Okay, so all it is is just the tongue going up and down. All right, now I'm gonna do the mouth opening and closing. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just like this bone. It, well, let me go ahead and select it first. So it, it, your mouth isn't even really that wide open, so I won't have his mouth open either. So he's going down on is, so I'm gonna do my weird S. Uh, so right before that, a couple frames before, I need to add that same keyframe back in there. So he's saying is a, I'm just going to move that back open just a little bit. And I'm going to close his mouth again for pleasure. And he's kind of ecstatic at this part. It's a pleasure. Okay, so. Close the mouth again right here. So pleasure, pleasure. Um, my mouth is opening and closing twice. Ple pleasure. So, oops, wrong bone. So I'm gonna open the mouth a little bit right here for pleasure. And then close it a little bit right here. He's supposed to be saying two right around in here somewhere, but I'm just gonna open his mouth a little bit. Because right here his mouth is closing directly to meat. And I'll open it up for meat. So meat. I close it a little bit for the meat end of meat. Meet you. So his mouth isn't going to be moving too much because it's going to be making the ooh sound instead of making a open mouth. 
spider movement. Okay, what is going on right there? Okay, there we go. Cool. So let's try this. It is a pleasure to meet you. Okay, it was a little fast. Go through it again. It is a pleasure to meet you. Looks kind of robotic, and that's because now we need to add some width. So we'll go ahead and shrink that a little bit. Oops. So first thing to make sure, look at where my last width is. So it's way back there, so I don't want any floating movements. So right here, I'm going to add a freeze the keyframe. Manipulate bones tool, click the bone. So it is, it, it is. So my mouth isn't even really moving corner wise when you're saying it is. Uh, it is a play. So right about here, I am gonna move his mouth a little bit wider open for pleasure. Cause he's, he's a happy doctor. Mm, maybe even have it go a little bit wider. Nope, looks funky. Don't do that. So we're gonna have pledge. Maybe for the pleasure part, the second portion of it, I can have his mouth going back in for pleasure. And right about here, I'm gonna go ahead and, oops, keep on hitting the wrong button. Go ahead and open his mouth right here. And he's going to his ooh, so we're gonna make an ooh movement with his mouth. And we gotta fix that, so right about here before his mouth closes completely. Add a keyframe, keep that open, fix the width. And that's what it looks like. So let's go run through that. It is a pleasure to meet you. And the whole width, the whole width, the whole video looks like this. Hello there. You must be Dr. S. It is a pleasure to meet you. Hello there. So it looks a little robotic, and I think it's because nothing's really moving right here. There. You must be Dr. S. It is a pleasure to meet you. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw in a little bit of height. I'm going to change his face shape a little bit. So maybe right here, we go into my height. So I have no keyframes made whatsoever. So I'll make my first one right here. And that's going to stay consistent through the whole thing because it's the same height and I haven't done anything over here. So I'll just do it right here. It is, and for the height, I'll just move this down mouth down a little bit. Mm, maybe not that drastic. I don't know. So just do it like that. And then I'll have the mouth height go back up. Because he's happy. Uh, something's going on here. Why is that going back down like that? Hmm. Oh, that's why, because it's doing the O and it's affecting that height tone as well. Okay, so we gotta fix that. Now if we fix with the height, that's gonna look a little weird. Let's see what that looks like. Go ahead and control V. I don't know. Let's see what that looks like. It is a pleasure to meet you. 
Mm, I don't like that either. It is a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, that looks too fake. It is a pleasure to meet you. I think what's going on, so it's not the height. I think it's how the mouth is actually forming on the O's. So it actually might be the width bone itself that I've not been using enough in this animation. Maybe put one right there. I don't know. Maybe I'm just critiquing it too much. Hello there. You must be Dr. S. It is a pleasure to meet you. Hello there. You must be Dr. S. So there's a little bit of bone floating movement coming in around about here. As you can see, and you don't want that. So just go to your previous bone and just make it turn with that one. You must be Dr. S. It's a pleasure to meet you. So it stays consistent. Hello there. You must be Dr. S. It is a pleasure to meet you. Hello there. You must be Dr. S. It is a pleasure to meet you. So once you get like some movement in your character, his eyebrows going up and down. If you want a tutorial of how I did the bones and stuff, I could do that. But other than that, once you get other stuff going and animating, it looks a little bit better. It doesn't look as robotic. But I'm not too happy with this lip sync that I'm doing right now. Hello there. You must be Dr. S. It is a pleasure to meet you. Especially that part. His mouth just right here goes to meet you. up and down and up. A little bit more than I would like. But for time's sake and just for the heck of it, I just wanted to show you how you can use smart bones um, for your lip syncing. This is something that's new to me. I just barely tried it uh, five days ago when I created this character. It took forever. Um, so that's what's going to take. I would, if, if I was actually going to spend time with it again, I would go through and I would fix every single little thing that I see of why it doesn't look right. And that's what you should do too. You should try to make your animation look as best you can. And then post it up on Lost Marble forums. Look for some constructive criticism. Let the pros tell you what to do. And they'll help you. And it's awesome. And I hope you enjoyed these videos. And I thank you for watching.